everybody. Mike McLean's co-writer on all the latest stories since Damnation Game. That's nine so far. How you feeling today? Um, feeling excited, feeling positive. I think this is going to be the biggest Lady Death F yet. And, um, I'm just I'm thrilled to be here and can't wait to see what happens. It's, uh, I can't even say it. <laughs> Blasphemy anthem. Blasphemy really anthem. Anun That's it, Mike. Uh, no, <laughs> nothing's, in that <laughs> nothing's in that drink. Nothing's in that drink. Cola. Well, if you think you had trouble announcing Blasphemy Anthem, wait until chapter 11, which is Malevolent Decimation. Malevolent Decimation. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about, we're going to get into the rewards, we're going to get into other stuff, but let's talk about Blasphemy Anthem. Now, Blasphemy Anthem is, from my perspective, a love letter to 70s Marvel supernatural characters and the great comic book crossovers of our youth, like Secret Wars and Crisis on Infinite Earths. But that's not an easy story to tell. No, it's not. Yeah, I, and I've, I've said this before, this is probably the hardest thing that I've ever written of anything that I've ever written because you had so many characters and so many moving pieces with the plot and you had to give each character you had to give each character their own moment, so, and you couldn't leave them any any threads left behind. So definitely difficult, but very rewarding, and I'm I'm really happy to have, um, be able to to work on it. It was it was awesome, but yeah, definitely the hardest, but probably one of the most rewarding because I love the challenge. Yeah, that was definitely it was very hairy because there's a lot of characters, as you said, a lot of fun, but. So that brings to, to light the fact that this story really expands what we're now calling the Coffinverse. The Coffinverse, which is a world of supernatural activity. You know, I guess there's other universes where they have superheroes, but in our universe, the prevailing notion is that the supernatural is slowly taking over. And Mike, keep talking for a minute, and I want to make sure that we could reveal to you something about the Coffinverse. So sure. tell, talk to the people. So just for just so you know, Blasphemy Anthem kind of will take off take off where Scorched Earth left off. Um, it's a story of Lady Death has returned to Earth and immediately faces a couple of threats. One is the Halo Corporation that was in the last chapter, and this one then she faces this um, extinction level event known as the Trinity, which is a trio of these uh, elemental witches that are bent on destruction. We don't quite know what their plan is, but we know they've decimated um, several major cities, um, left death and destruction in their wake. And they are kind of backed by this secretive, nefarious crew called the Sect, which are Hellborn, which is a Hellborn terrorist group that have come to Earth. So. In the current issue, and I can't reveal too much, we have Lady Death. She has just um, undergone a tremendous personal loss, the loss of a major character. I don't want to reveal in case for those people who haven't read the last one. Um, reeling from that, broken, damaged from the battle that she had just fought, and she's immediately thrust into action against the Trinity. And the Trinity is going to be the biggest challenge that she has faced yet. Um, so big that she can't do it alone. So she has been enlisted in the army of the Sworn. And the Sworn are a group of supernatural, I don't want to call them superheroes because they fornicate and curse and rip people's arms off. So I don't really like to call them heroes, anti-heroes. So she's been enlisted to the Sworn and she, with their help, will fight off the Trinity. Um, so, not to reveal too much of that, because I don't want to reveal the comic, but there will be bloodshed, there will be um, raging battles, there will be everything that you want out of a Lady Death comic, plus that sense of the Marvel Team Over crossover. So, that's essentially Blasphemy Anthem in a nutshell. <laughs>